Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to see Crypt Arithmetic Addition Problem in Artificial Intelligence. Crypt Arithmetic means using these 0 to 9, 10 different digits, replacing this English alphabet using rules. We are going to find out this 3 digit number and here another 3 digit number, one more 5 digit number when adding these different digits using this 0 to 9 different 10 digit numbers rules are rule number 1 we should not use the same number for two different digits then we should not use two different numbers for the same digits and one more important rule is the maximum carry over is 1 the maximum carry over means when we are adding any two numbers at maximum we will be getting 19 only we will not be getting more than 20 so we will be getting up to 19 so that number 9 will write here the remaining carry over 1 right that is remaining is nothing but the carry over so when you are solving this type of problem here we have three different problems like when adding go plus 2 which equals out let plus leave which equals all u plus your which equals to hot so problems like this u plus your equals hot then send plus more equals money 0 plus point equals energy we will be starting number 1 writing here the same way here also we'll write number 1 the reason why we are starting number 1 in this problem go plus 2 equal to out and this problem is when we adding any two different digit like a greatest two digit number 99 with 99 we will be getting 198 or if you are adding the smallest number 10 plus 10 we will be getting 20 that means this box the same way in this box there is possible of getting only 0 and 1 so there is no possible of getting 2 and above this box and this box if you are getting 0 that means adding 10 plus 10 getting 20 that means we will get 0 if you are writing 0, this out will become a 2 digit number the same way if you are adding 100 with 1000, you will be getting like a 1100 so you need to write 0, that means it will become a 4 digit number we need to get only 5 digit number in this case 3 digit number in this problem so you are writing number 1 that means either 0 and 1 only will get in this box we should uh, not write 0, we have to write 1, the number 1 you can write here. So, problem like this u plus u equal to hot and go plus 2 equal to out. That means, when adding 2 digit number with another 2 digit number, getting a different 3 digit number or adding 3 digit number with 4 digit number, getting another 5 digit number, you can start by writing number 1. Then we can go to next step. So, in this problem, all the three mathematic problem, you keep keep in mind that this column starting with carry over is not possible that means there is no previous column here also you put dash so this top row is for carry over so here also you can put dash next what you can do is for this problem wherever alphabet go just we replace number 1 so we have allocated number 1 for alphabet O. so here 1 1 by adding 1 plus 1 without carry over see this complete row is for carry over this is for carry over now when adding 1 plus 1 we get 2 if you are getting 2 that is a single digit number if you are getting a single digit number in particular column this box the next column will not have the carry over so there is no carry over so this is a 2 digit uh, this is a 2 it's a single digit number then 1 plus 1 2 the same number 2 we can replace in this alphabet t so 2 we have allocated for alphabet T now this box you must be getting a 2 digit number so this box must be a 2 digit number if you are getting a 2 digit number only you are getting a carry over the carry over one we are writing here the same way here also you can use how we are getting number 1 from the previous column supposing this be a 2 digit number only we are getting a carry over so write number 1 that I will this problem will see after finishing this problem now this is a carry over one now this must be a two digit number 
number 2 added with what number will be a 2 digit number so number 2 added with 9 we will get 2 digit number 2 plus 9 we can write but if you write number 9 9 plus 2 we will get 11 so already we have allocated number 1 for alphabet O so next possibility is A so A plus 2 we can write A plus 2 10 so 0 we not allocated see this is O alphabet so 8 plus 2 we can write 0 so the answer for this question go plus 2 which equals out is 81 added with 21 will get 102 now see this problem this problem is not like this go plus 2 equals out and u plus u equals what but this problem also we can start writing number from this particular column but we are not going to write the number in this column so we have to see this column let plus L equals all. Now what we can conclude is L can have a maximum value for 4 only. Because if you are writing L equal to 5, 5 plus 5, 10, this box we cannot write 2 digit number. That means each and every box we write only single digit. The carry over will go to next column. There is no next column for this particular column for this box. So we cannot assign L equal to 5 and above. What we can do is L equal to 0 to 4 we can keep checking trial and error method. So some uh, type of problems you have to keep in mind that we need to use trial and error method. So trial and error method only really help for you. But here we don't need to check for L equal to 0. If you are writing L equal to 0 here and here that means this 3 digit number will become 2 digit number. Now you can check for L equal to 1. So when you are doing for trial and error method, write the number in the corner L equal to 1 you are trying without carry over. That means you are not writing any number 1. Without carry over means you are writing here dash. See here 1 plus 1 you will get 2. The same number 1 here and here you write. Here how to get number 1 by adding these two numbers. So there is only one possibility for alphabet G is 5 plus 5 with carry over only. We can get 1. That 1 means 11. So there is no other possibility. Other possibility means E equal to 0 plus 0 with carry over can get 1. But here writing 0 and here writing what number? You have to again write number 1. But L and T cannot have the same value. So what we can do in this problem, just we go for L equal to 1 with carry over. If L equal to 1 with carry over satisfying this whole problem, this 3 column, we no need to check for L equal to 2 without carry over, L equal to 2 with carry over, like that L equal to 3 and 4 with carry over and without carry over. Just we can go for one trial, like 1 plus 1, 2 with carry over, 3. Here is carry over. So we check for this 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3. That means carry over is there. Means previous column is a 2 digit number. For this uh, column, the previous column is L. This will become 11. That number 1 you are writing. Remaining 1 you are writing. So keep in mind this complete row, this top row is the carry over. So 11. How to get 11? By assigning E equal to 5. 5 plus 5 will get 10. If you are getting a carry over here, it will become 11. That means the previous column is a 2 digit number. Again 11, 1. Now same 5 you can write here. 5 added with what number? 11. That is 6 only. So I think almost this complete problem, this numbers are satisfying. Now you can check for other numbers. is not satisfied. It must not be satisfying for other numbers because this numbers satisfying all this uh, complete problem. Now you can take number 4, see L equal to 4 we are writing with carry over or without carry over. So you can write for with carry over also 4 plus 4 with carry over means it's a 2 digit number 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1 we are writing number 9. The same number 4 you write here. So 2 number added with, that is a number added itself will get with 14. There is one possibility only that is 7 plus 7, 14. Here you wrote 4, 4, so the same 4 you write here. So 7 plus 7, 7 will come here. So 7 plus 7, 14, the remaining one you are writing. The so same 4 here also you can write. The same 7 for alphabet E, but 7 is added with another 7 will get 14, but 
this E and T cannot get the same value. So what is our conclusion is number one added with one that is L is one with carry over will satisfy this whole problem. So we can replace L equal to one. So we'll be getting the correct answer. So in this type of problem we have only unique solution. So if this when you are doing this trial and error method, when you are doing this trial and error method, if any one number satisfy the whole problem, what we can conclude is that is the exact solution. That is the unique solution. If you are checking for other numbers like L equal to three with carry over or without carry over, this problem will not satisfy. So L equal to one with carry over. This I will circle this for understanding. This is a carry over work. So L equal to one, one plus one two, two plus one three. How you are getting this carry over means that from the previous column. So this L equal to one that means eleven. You are writing number one. The remaining that is balance you are writing one. So this balance will not be two and above. That means the maximum carry over is one. Now what number we can allocate for A is only one possibility five and five. With carry over, if you are writing with carry over, if you are writing a carry over, means the previous column is a two-digit number. We can add this five plus five, ten plus one, eleven. The balance one. The same one we can write here. The same five we can write here. So five is added with six only. Six plus five, eleven. So any column start with that is the first. This uh, right side column start with carry over is not possible because there is no previous column. So the answer for this question is 156 is added with 155 equal to 311. Now I can come to this problem. U plus U one equals R. So the way we have written number one, you know the reason. Triple nine added with nine 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 will get the answer like one nine 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 eight. Or if you are writing this hundred plus thousand added, you will get thousand hundred. This place will get zero. That means this box either zero or one. If you are writing zero, this will become a four-digit number. We need to get only five-digit number, so writing number one. If you are writing number one, means wherever H alphabet, we can replace number one, but there is no alphabet H. Next, what we can do is we want to keep concentrate on only this carry over work. So this is the carry over. Now number one, how we are getting number one means from the previous column carry over we are getting this one, this one from this. That means this is a two-digit number. So only one possibility being this box is a two-digit number. Writing number nine with carry over only. There is no other possibility for alphabet Y. So nine plus one will get zero. If you are writing carry over again, the previous column is a two-digit number. So this column is a two-digit number. The same number nine you can write here. Then, so what we can conclude this. Uh, About this column is with carry over without carry over. We'll see. For example, alphabet O. See, this is zero. This is O. Alphabet O. Whatever number you are writing with carry over, this number and this number will be same. See here. Whatever number you are writing for alphabet O. For example, five you are writing with carry over. By adding this complete column, this number and this number will be same. For example, five with carry over. So nine plus one ten, ten plus five fifteen. So here on five, here on five. To avoid that, there is no carry over. Now we can write what our number is five. Nine plus five fourteen. So this number, this number will be different if you write without carry over. If you are writing without carry over, means the previous column is a single digit number. So this box is going to be a single digit number. Now we don't know whether this. Two number adding is a two digit or single digit. So we don't write now about the carry over here. What now does? We we'll check whether it is a two digit single digit. If it is a single digit, no carry over. If it is a two digit number, we will be getting a carry carry over. Now this uh, after this, how we can uh, keep doing is see here this alphabet O and alphabet U adding will get a single digit only. So the same way we will do trial and error method. Zero and one and nine. We have allocated for this one for X, zero for E, nine for Y. Now we can do for trial and error method. 
by adding these two numbers we should be getting a single digit number so you can start doing like 2 and 3 and 2 and 4 and 2 and 5 like this but we no need to check for number 2 why means if you are writing about 2 for alphabet O the same write 2 here 2 plus 9 getting 1 so already allocated for H so 2 and 3 instead of doing 2 and 3 we can go for 3 and 2 now we can check for 3 and 2 if you are writing 3 and 2 also this condition not satisfied because writing 3 here the same 3 must replace this alphabet O also so 9 plus 3 12 will be getting so 3 plus 2 the pair also is not satisfying the rule see 2 and 3 3 and 2 pair is not satisfying that means when you are writing number 2 2 we should not write 2 plus 9 11 this uh, not satisfying the rule or 3 and 2 if you are writing alphabet word 3 9 plus 3 12 this 2 and this 2 will be same so we can go for another pair like uh, 2 and 4 that means this box we cannot write 2 so we can check for number 4 we are writing 4 and 2 the same 4 you write here 4 plus 9 13 this is like trial and error method we will check for this trial and error method if you are satisfied you can use this numbers 4 plus 2 you can write 6 the same number 6 you write here then 2 you can write here so 2 plus 6 8 that means we are getting a single digit so the no carry over so without carry over 4 plus 2 6 I think this will satisfy we will check for another pair that means the same pair we will use but we cannot use like 2 and 4 because 2 should not come here 2 plus 9 getting 11 if you are writing another pair like here, 4 and 3 we will check 4 and 3 4 and 3 adding will get 7 here with carrier without carrier we will check now 4 and 3 with without carry over 7, 4 and 3 with carry over will be getting 8. The same 3 we have to write there without carry over here 7 with carry over this box 8. Now then uh, the same 4 if you are writing here I think uh, 4 and 9 13 will come. That means u and a will have the same value. That means 4 and 2 this pair will satisfy this complete problem so this will replace this alphabet o equal to 4 here 4 then 2 4 and 2 adding will get 6 4 and 9 will add 13 the balance 1 the same 6 right here then 6 plus this number 2 goes there 8 so what we have concluded is alphabet o we cannot assign number 2 at all with any pair like 2 and 3 or 2 and 4 or 2 and 5 or 2 and 6 with carry over without carry over this box we cannot write 2 because the same number 2 will be placed here by adding 9 and 2 we should not get 11 that means the number should not repeat so the answer for this question is u plus u equals r is 942 added with 9426 10368. So this is the trial and error method method we have found alphabet O equal to 4, alphabet U equal to 2. If you are writing alphabet O and U, other values like writing number 5 here with carry over, without carry over, we will not getting the answer with satisfying the rule. When you are doing this correct arithmetic means this must satisfy the rules like this 9, 9, the same alphabet, 4, 4, the same alphabet, that means the same number for the same alphabet, different numbers for the different alphabet, say 4 and 2 is different, different. So the answer for this u plus u equals 4 is 942 add 9426 is 10368. So what we can do this type of problem is, so avoid writing number 2 in this box, the item we can use for 3 and 4 or 4 and 2 by them. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.